Hi and welcome back. Today we have the trout lily, also known as Erthronium americanum. The trout lily grows in huge colonies that can completely cover a forest floor. The colonies can be hundreds of years old and take a long time to grow to such a size. Its bulbs are sterile up to about the seventh year, then it produces only one leaf and no flowers. When they mature, one plant will grow two leaves and one beautiful yellow flower. The colony spreads mostly by runners and less importantly by seed. Trout lilies have a symbiotic relationship with ants known as mermi kokori. This means that they exchange a lipid rich appendage on their seeds in return for an ant seed dispersal that spreads the colony and protects the seeds from predation. This plant is a beautiful spring ephemeral, meaning it is short-lived in the spring only. Trout lily is both medicinal and edible. The leaves have a very mild flavor and the flowers have a slight sweetness due to their nectar and are also slightly acrid. The corms are edible as well and have a cucumber-like taste. Trout lilies are an emetic, which means it'll make you throw up. Therefore, it is not recommended to eat mass quantities of these in one day. You can still add this plant to a salad. For some medicinal uses, the crushed leaves and bulbs of this plant have been used externally as a poultice for treating skin wounds, inflammation, swellings. Some other names for this plant is the dog tooth violet and some similar plants is the white trout lily. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Peace.